Hey Aries, it's Dana, and this is a reading for you. A um, This would be probably your mid-month reading, I suppose. So here we go. It's, you know, from wherever it fits in with you until it doesn't, if it does at all. So, you know, no worries. Oh yeah, I want to light my candle. Hold on just a second, Aries. Sorry. All right. Okay, so... You, my friend, open up this reading with incoming communication. Incoming communication that creates justice in a situation. So much justice that the Ace of Swords follows it, saying this is like serious truth, mental clarity, mental breakthroughs, power, victory. Whatever this information that came in was gave you a sense of justice about a situation. This sense of justice is prompting you to come out of a slow moving energy and go forwards into your future thinking about teamwork and collaboration with somebody else. The sun card says that you see things clearly after much evaluation and contemplation with the four of cups. After much evaluation and contemplation with the Four of Cups, you come out of this revelation, this awakening right here, with the energy of the King of Pentacles. Security, control, power, discipline, abundance, right? You have that mentality going on. You want to take swift movement, action, change, potentially travel, right? In order to have a new beginning in a new journey in your life. The Six of Swords comes in and says that this is a rite of, <coughs> excuse me, this is a rite of passage, right? After all of this contemplation, after all of this long time of injustice until this justice showed up, right? After all that time, this is a rite of passage for you, this new beginning, this new journey in your life. This new beginning and this new journey is based on choices that you made while you were contemplating and evaluating your life. Choices about coming together and either trying to work something out with someone or build something with someone. With the Nine of Pentacles saying that there's a culmination to the contemplation and a sense of self-sufficiency because of the justice, right? Ace of Cups comes in, says overwhelming emotion, love, and it doesn't have to be overwhelming emotion, like freaking out like you won the lottery kind of emotion, right? It can be overwhelming emotion just enough to be like, wow, whew, you know, that kind of feeling. Love also, and the Ace of Pentacles, the manifestation of a brand new opportunity, maybe even a brand new financial opportunity. Down here, we have you back in the hangman mode. So you got this truth up here with the justice card, and you're you're going to come out of this slow-moving energy of contemplation and, and evaluation in your life in order to pursue teamwork and collaboration. This is what you're doing right here, you're going on a journey, coming out of that. This is this is your plan right here, right? This is your plan. But down here, you go right back into that same energy, right? Hangman mode. Thinking about things because you're extremely overwhelmed, anxiety ridden, um, maybe can't sleep at night. You're just really, you're just really shook about the whole situation, right? Whatever this is for you, Aries, you're just shook about it. You're in the hangman mode, evaluating, rolling things around, thinking, making a decision. You're in the hangman mode because of the Nine of Swords, right? So you've already been through the Nine of Swords by the time you get to the Hangman mode. And strength comes in. And the strength in the Nine of Swords, that's what you're looking for. When you're in the Nine of Swords energy, you're seeking the strength to execute this plan right here. You graduate to the Hangman, right? Because the Hangman's not as bad as the Nine of Swords. The Hangman is very introspective making decision kind of energy, right? Weighing all the options, seeing all the perspectives, all the viewpoints, 
in making a decision. What's got you all freaked out is your um, insecurity with the Five of Pentacles about actually committing to, to this plan right here, right? About a relationship. A love relationship? Yeah, absolutely it could be a love relationship. Any other kind of relationship in your life? Yeah, absolutely it could be any other kind of relationship in your life. But you feel super insecure about committing to it. A tower moment comes in and gives you some kind of an epiphany, a revelation, an awakening about how you feel, about your feels, right? The Queen of Cups, I mean, the Queen of Love, right? About your feels. Your feels probably in regard to this commitment right here. So some tower moment happens, right? And makes you realize how you feel about something or someone. Princess of Wands comes in and says that you it just fills you with excitement, right? This is the Page of Wands. This is enthusiasm, exploration, discovery, free spirit, right? And you're going to go forward and tell somebody, how, how this has happened right here. And then we have the Eight of Cups right here. This Eight of Cups is about withdrawing, right? Withdrawing. So, based on these cards, based on these cards, this last card, the Eight of Cups, talking about walking away and withdrawing, is referring to I think what this truth is up here that comes through, at some point you or somebody else walked away from something, from each other, from a job, from whatever, right? But you walked away. From you, okay, so... How do I explain this? So this Eight of Cups. Okay, so the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is all about escapism, disappointment, abandonment, withdrawal, hopelessness, drifting, and walking away. This card represents to me withdrawing from the initial situation, right? Not from this situation, not from what's going on. So this card tells me that somebody in this situation at one point walked away however now you're going to go forward with this revelation of, of feels that you have right and execute this plan right here you're going to execute this you're going to be somebody's knight in shining armor or princess in shining armor whatever you want to call yourself um, with the prince of cups right this is this is a messenger of love you're going to go forth and you are going to give messages of love. The five of wands, where there was once strife and tension and conflict, there is now an increased focus on goals. The, 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 the grief and the tension and the conflict that happened in regards to this eight of cups right here has now flipped into an increased focus on, on these goals right here with the emperor coming in saying that, that you feel secure. This is a card about the control and structure of your life, right? So this emperor is saying, this is a card of Aries, by the way, this emperor is saying that Aries feels very much in control of the, of the situation. The moon card. This moon card in this particular position is going to be about releasing fear and dealing with your repressed emotions. This eight of cups right here. Releasing fear and dealing with your repressed emotions. Had to get some clarifiers on that too. You're going to go forward with the chariot, progression, forward movement, action, determination, success, Towards the Ace of Cups, love. With the Two of Pentacles, with it, with love being the priority, right? The you're going to prioritize this new. 
thing that you have going on here. Whatever it was that brought this truth in, right? Whatever it was that brought this truth in, that brought you out of this slow-moving contemplation energy, right? Left you feeling like a boss, like the King of Pentacles. Swift action with the Eight of Wands. New journey and a new beginning with the Fool. A rite of passage because of choices that you... <laughs> Excuse me, because of choices that you've made in regards to to mastering some aspect of your yourself, your life, this relationship, whatever, leaves gives you a feeling of self sufficiency, right, and puts a culmination to all the bullshit before. Headed towards the Ace of Cups, love manifesting a brand new opportunity with the ace of pentacles but y'all caught up in your head just a little bit still right so trying to whatever this was has you really apprehensive to actually commit to something because you feel super insecure about the situation in regards to a love relationship power moment some kind of a, an epiphany happens that makes you realize your feels you go forward with passionate messages towards a love relationship that at one point somebody walked away from to give your cup of feels to deliver your message of feels where there was conflict, now there is an increased focus on goals for you because you're feeling really good as the emperor. You're releasing fear and um, dealing with your repressed emotions about that Eight of Cups. Taking action to move forward with the chariot towards love and prioritization in your life. There you go, Aries. That's your reading. That's pretty awesome. I hope that all works out for you. Drop me a comment. I'd love to know how things work out okay. Namaste. Oh, hey, deepthoughtswithdana.com if you want a personal reading. 50 bucks for my YouTube subscribers. That includes the video link. Namaste.